Okay, we're given a rectangle. And we're given the length of the sides. This side here is equal to x plus 2. And this side here is equal to x minus 2. And we're basically trying to come up with a formula for the area of the rectangle. So we can just write, you know, this, we can just represent it as this is the length and this is the width. And we know the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So L times W gives you the area. And uh, so if we substitute in X plus 2 is the length. And X minus 2 is the width. So we're just basically saying the same thing. The length times the width is equal to the area. Now the trick here is doing this multiplication out. So you multiply the first term by the first term in this one, so that's x squared. Then you multiply this term by the second term, so that's x times minus 2 is minus 2x. Then you multiply this 2 by the first term here, so 2 uh, plus 2x. And then 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, as you call it, the area. So basically you go this term times this term and then you multiply by this this term by the second term then you take this term and you multiply it by both things so it's like ding 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 like that uh, so anyhow when you work this out minus 2x plus 2x is equal to 0 so that disappears because it's 0 so the answer for the area is equal to uh, x squared minus Four. So in this case, you know, if x were equal, let's just this is not this is the the, the problem was to get uh, to get a formula for the area. So we can just work it out as if an ex it, uh, it's an example. So we could say that x is equal to four, just for instance. So if x is equal to four, that means the length is going to be four plus two, six, and that means the width is going to be 4 minus 2, so 4 minus 2 is 2. So now the length times the width would be would be 6 times 2 is equal to 12, so that's the area. And then, you know, so I just kind of did an example with a real number for x. And in this case, we've got our formula, so we can try it out here. So if x is equal to 4, x squared is going to give us 16, because that's 4 times 4 minus 4 is equal to the area and 16 minus 4 is 12 so yeah we get 12 for the area here and 12 for the area here so this formula for area works uh, works out well so that's how you get a formula you just have to understand that you're looking for an area and kinda use what you know about the formula area and just uh, kinda substitute in uh, what is normally the width and the length and you just work out the math and you get x squared minus 4.